Hi, my name is Craig McLean from Putney Chiropractic Centre. Over the last 15 years, I've been working with everyone from Olympic gold medalists to pregnant mums to office workers and everyone in between. And I spend a lot of time during my day explaining to people the best way to stretch and strengthen their spine. Research shows that a good chiropractic program is always supported well if you do the right exercises, both from stretching and strengthening. Naturally, if you're doing any of these exercises and you feel pain or discomfort in any way, shape or form, stop the exercise immediately and discuss with your chiropractor the problems you're having with that particular exercise and we'll be able to find a variation for that exercise for you. So the following program is going to be focusing in on the lower back and there's two parts to this program. There's the stretching program and then the strengthening program. It's always best to start off with the stretching program and once you're confident in the flexibility is improving in that area of your spine, then we can start to build some strength around that area. You may find that you need to be doing the stretching process for at least six weeks before you start activating the muscles and performing the strengthening exercises. Okay, so let's kick off with the lower back stretching program. We're going to start with stretching the hamstring, okay? Now, literally the best way to stretch the hamstring passively is just with one leg out straight, sitting up nice and straight, and seeing if you can touch your toe. As you can see, my leg is bent a little bit while I've been doing this hamstring stretch. If your hamstrings are quite tight like mine are, then that's okay. Just let it bend up a little bit, keep your back nice and straight, and feel that stretch all the way through the hamstring there, okay? Obviously you repeat that on the other side and the idea is to do at least 30 seconds, if not more, up to 60 seconds per stretch and do that three times each side. Okay. Now a more dynamic way to stretch the hamstring is where you're standing up okay, and it's simply a leg swing. Uh, you may need to hold onto the wall to do this and as you can see I'm shaking a little bit all over the place but if you can just swing the leg nice and freely, it's more of an active stretch as opposed to the passive stretch you did when sitting down. Here we are, just stretching away that hamstring. So, the next exercise involves the hip flexor. Okay, it's also known as the psoas muscle. The best way to do this is an active stretch, but I'm going to show you the passive stretch to begin with. Literally get down into a lunge position back knee on the ground. If it's a little bit uncomfortable, then use a cushion or something soft underneath your knee so you're nice and relaxed and comfortable there. Never let this knee go past the ankle. Okay? And literally in this position here, hand above the head and a nice long slow stretch. Keep your body upright and try and allow yourself just to kind of really relax down into it there. You should feel a nice big stretch all the way from the top here of the quadricep all the way through the hip flexor and maybe up into the abdominal muscle once you get that real stretch in the arm. Again do that for 30 to 60 seconds. You can do the same on the other side. A nice long slow stretch. Okay, now the more dynamic or active way of doing that is literally by doing a lunge with the arm extended overhead. Don't stop into the position and literally just go through it for a second at a time. About the sort of pace is good and it allows you just to control the stretch all the way through. Again, the front here, arm all the way up the top. Okay, the next exercise involves stretching the piriformis or the deep gluteal tissue. Okay, the easiest way to do that is to be lying on your back, cross one ankle over the top of the other knee, reach through and grab that lower knee, relax your upper body and just allow yourself to pull that all the way up towards your chest. You should feel the tightness in the gluteal muscle or the tissue on the right hand side of the knee that's actually on top of the other knee. Again, repeat that, legs like this, cross that over there, hold onto the knee here, and pull all the way through. A really nice stretch in here. Now, a more advanced way of doing that is turning over into a position where you're on all fours. Bring one knee all the way up forward, the other knee all the way back, and twist that leg all the way around underneath. 
Let me show you that on the other side. It might be slightly easier for you to see. One knee back, the other knee forward, and really twist that ankle around in front of yourself there and get down nice and wide. You should feel that stretch in the knee that is folded underneath you. You shouldn't feel it in the knee, but you should actually feel it in the gluteal tissue of the piriformis here. Hold this position for as long as you want. It's a really nice stretch to do for like five minutes at a time. Okay, so once you've come out of that position, roll onto your back again. Arms outstretched like this, and literally go through a lumbar roll. Okay, and the best way to do it, passively hold that position there like that, and hold for 30 seconds to maybe even a minute. Then roll it around to the other side. You should feel a nice deep stretch all the way through your lower lumbar spine. If you're not feeling much of a stretch, straighten one leg out and really get a little bit of an extra twist all the way around this way. Again, hold for 30 to 60 seconds and really get it nice and stretched over. Look the opposite direction to which your knee is going. Okay, now to be more dynamic in that exercise, the best thing to do is to repeat that rapidly, one second at a time, stabilizing yourself with your hands here, and rolling through side to side. You can do 30 or even 60 repetitions of this, and it'll really help loosen and free up that lower part of your back. Now grasp a hold of your knees, Bring them all the way up towards your chest and finish with a nice little stretch all the way through here, lifting your bum off the ground. Okay, so there you go. That's a roundup of the really important things to do for lower back flexibility. Now let's move on to part two of the low back fitness regime. What we're going to do is some exercises based on improving the strength of your lower back and generally your core. Okay, so let's move into the first exercise, which is just a very simple exercise based on the cat stretch. Okay, very simple. Get yourself into a neutral position on your knees and your hands in the all fours position, and then just allow your body to drop. As you can see, my spine is curved quite a lot in the lower spine here. It's dropped right down and then you want to arch and extend your back all the way, just like you've seen a cat stretch numerous times. And there you go, just let the lower back stretch down, and then all the way back up again. And literally just repeat this back and forward about 10 times, just until you can feel the flexibility of your lower back start to really stretch, especially on this upward direction there, and all the way back down again. So, from this position here, in the all fours position, I want you to start doing an exercise which is going to strengthen the gluteal muscle. Very important to support the lower back. And it essentially involves being in a neutral position, so not too far this way or not too far flexed up this way, but nice and neutral. Lift one leg backwards. Now, if you find it difficult to lift one leg, then literally just lift the leg up a little bit and then put it down again. Okay, do the same on the other side, lift it up, off the ground, and down again. What I don't want to see anyone doing is really rotating to lift that leg up, okay? It's all about maintaining the neutral position here, and then being able to hold that as, if you're good enough, to stretch that leg all the way up back, and then put it back down again. So literally, you can just repeat that exercise 10 times each side, really nice workout of the gluteal muscle, a little bit of the hamstring, and just make sure you're really activating that core, the tummy muscles, really hold in the tummy while you're doing all of this. Now to add an extra dimension to this as well, you can start lifting the opposite arm at the same time as the opposite leg. There it is there. I keep looking at you this way, but let me show you what it should look like in the neutral position of the head. The head should be looking down, and again, maintaining that neutral position so that you're not hyperextending your neck or putting too much pressure on your neck. Okay, so that's the leg lift exercise with the arm variation. 
So from the all fours position, we're going to move down to the next exercise, which is the plank, which is a really good exercise for the core strength, essential for low back health. Now, get down onto your elbows, onto the tips of your toes, and straighten your body so that it's perfectly straight in alignment with the floor. Get your head into a position where it's looking down or quite neutral, and hold that position. Starting out, you may only need or be able to do 15 seconds at a time. But extend that up to a minute or more, even a couple of minutes, if that's what you're able to do. Now from that position there, move yourself into a side plank position. This is quite an advanced exercise and if you have any low back pain, obviously don't uh, persist with this particular exercise. However, get yourself nice and straight in this position here. Get yourself up into a side plank position here, keeping it very, very straight and hold that position again for anywhere from 15 seconds to a minute. Now come down from that position after about a minute or so and flip around to the other side doing the other side plank. 